Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I thought I would do this quick and easy makeup tutorial for you. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a quick and easy makeup look or a full glam. It was very very close but a quick and easy makeup look one which what I wanted to do originally but I was like no I'll see what the people want. I'm a people pleaser so what the people want the people shall get. Okay. So it's perfect to wear to school, to work, if you're just running errands and you just need to put like a little bit of makeup on, I can literally do this in five minutes and then I'm out the door. So I thought it was about time I show you guys. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more videos. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> So first I'm going to prime, I'm going to be using the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smooth Priming Moisturizer. Oh my god, I'm almost out. I love this stuff. There we go. It is so nice and like glowy and oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. It smells incredible. By the way, I already moisturized. I used the Dr. Jart. Crem Cremidian cream. I don't know how to say it, but that's YouTuber things. That's what it is. By the way, I'm sorry if the camera quality isn't as good. I've broken my big camera. It's been broken for almost a year now. And I thought, okay, if I get a new battery, it'll be fixed. I got a new battery. It ain't fixed. So next I'm going to go in with my favorite product. Have I been using this for years? This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Illumination Color Corrected Full Coverage Cream. It has an SPF of 50. It's perfect for holidays, perfect for every day. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I always get complimented on how nice my skin looks. I'm like, I'm just wearing CC cream, but thanks. Okay, so I take a little bit and put it on my face. I love this one and I think it's the matte one. I have I have both. <laughs> then I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty blender. By the way, this is in the shade medium tan. As you can see, it just blends out so nicely. If you just apply a light layer, I think it looks really nice and like natural. It's like enhancing your own skin. And it's so good. It's always sold out in Sephora, so I'll always make sure when I go overseas, I like stock up on it. Also, my skin has been freaking out. Like, it started freaking out while I was in America. Um, let me just fix this light. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. My When I was in America, my skin, like, freaked out so bad I've never broken out like that before in my life if you need to add more go in and add more just to like the spots you feel like you need that little bit extra coverage um and I literally went and spent like hundreds of dollars on like new skincare products like a new beauty blender like if I get good skincare products then like hopefully it'll clear up but it never did like it was horrible like I've never broken out like that before and then when I got home, I was like, okay, like I'm back to eating like good again. I'm not drinking alcohol every day, like straight. That was, that was probably the main reason. Um, but yeah, like I'm not drinking alcohol. Like why is my skin getting any better? Now I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in light neutral. Just applying that under my eyes, my forehead, bridge of my nose and chin and Cupid's bow. And my skin just wasn't getting better and then so I am now getting facials at results laser clinic in Wollongong and my skin has improved so much like oh my god like it's still not obviously a hundred percent better but my god the texture of it the look of it is just so much better than it was like oh my god it was like I was 12 years old again and going through puberty but yeah, what else has been happening? I've been like sick for like months. I don't get like one thing after the other. So that was fun. That was when I had influenza. Like, I don't know if 
it happens where you are but like this time of the year there's like a bad flu outbreak and they thought I had that and like it can kill you so I didn't get it thank god they thought I did I got tested it was just something else I'm terribly sorry about this lighting I'm still trying to figure it out I also like moved my room around so yeah now I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and take the foundation off my lips because that's crusty. Okay, wow. I swear it matches my neck. It's just the light is, like, if I move it down, like, you can see, so. I'm gonna take the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder. This is in the shade Beige, and I'm gonna get my brush. And just put this all over. But yeah, I can literally do this makeup will look so quickly because I'm the type of person who hates getting out of bed so I try to prolong it as much as possible so this is what I'm doing like 10 minutes before I have to leave the house my hair and my makeup I'm go in quickly only because that doesn't get underneath my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder and I just take that on a brush and just Set my under eyes. Then I'm just gonna go in with the Better Foot Hula Bronzer. This is a massive one, I love it, and it comes with a jumbo brush. You know, you just bronze up your face wherever you like to put bronzer. I kind of go ham with the bronzer. I guess this is kind of like my holiday makeup look. Feeling like I've got a little bit of time, I'll add like a little bit more of like this glitter bronzer. This is like the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. Take that. This just adds like a little bit more of a glow and then you don't have to apply bronzer. And I just kind of apply that everywhere as well. For highlight, I take my fave. This is the Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. I've gone through so many of these. It's my favorite highlighter ever. And then I just apply this to my face, under my brow bone, and just kind of blend it. I mean, I use all different kinds of highlighters depending on what I'm feeling. But this is like my go-to, especially when I have a tan. I always get complimented on my highlight on Instagram and it's usually always this one or the Natasha Denona Super Glow in what's this? Super Glow in oh I don't know the things I've dropped it that many times I've had to put it back together but that's what it looks like then go back in to the Hall of Bronzer and I take a big fluffy brush to I take a big fluffy brush and this is the MAC 224 and I put that just in the crease. I love doing this because it makes it look like you actually tried when in reality you didn't. But um, I mean if your brows aren't as full as mine this is where you'd go in and fill them in but I actually go in with this Maybelline Brow Precise fiber volumizer I've been using this for like years now and it's probably run out but I still think there's stuff in there and then you just go in and it kind of just like tints them and feels so that's one brow done can you see the difference I think I can unless I'm just blind and then I usually go in and just double set them just to make sure this is just the Anastasia brow gel in like the clear shade I actually love to try hers in like the other shades onto lashes I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes I probably have still some yeah I do eyelash glue on my eye lashes are on now Go in with the Sugar Petal 
Fly Fresh lipstick in, I think this is just in, oh, okay. I think it's called Sugar Petal Tinted Lip Treatment. It's by Fresh and it has an SPF of 15, so we love that. So this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.